Well, we've just seen a full-time score come in from the championship and what a game it was as well. It finished Fulham 1, QPR 2. What a victory for them in the West London derby. Fulham missing two penalties in that game as well. Let's get to know head-to-head -head at Gig Lane as Berry take on leaders Scunthorpe. Unbeaten Bradford travel to Chesterfield while Port Vale host managerless Coventry. In League Two today, unbeaten Carlisle play host to Colchester and leaders Plymouth are at home to Yeovil. However, Newport's game with Stevenage is off due to a waterlogged pitch there. In the National League, second play third as Forest Green host Barrow. Meanwhile, leaders Dagenham and Redbridge face Tranmere at 5.30, which is a game you can see live. On Again, it was Liverpool's midfield that continues to attract big investment with both Philippe Coutinho and Adam Lallana in the top five midfield targets this week. But it was Roberto Firmino and James Milner who stole the show at Swansea earlier today. Now, Zlatan Ibrahimovic is again the most popular captain for game week seven, but his stock is definitely in decline just the injured Kevin De Bruyne saw more sales going into this game week. Now, the top 100 FPL managers are also looking beyond Ibra for their captain. Just 13 have backed the Swede ahead of this weekend's game with Stoke. Let's talk about Sunderland against West Brom. Four managers who have been backing Liverpool midfielders. It was another great day for you because, of course, they came back to beat Swansea 2-1 today in the lunchtime kickoff. And worth noting that all seven of Liverpool's top point scorers all come from midfield. So if you haven't got one of them or even two of them in your side, I think now's the time to be getting them into your team. So we have been asking you to get in touch with us here in the studio using the hashtag BT Sports Score. And we've got a couple questions in for Howard Webb now. So uh, Howard, question here from M. Shermer who says, should referees be mic'd up to explain to supporters why they've made decisions? Maybe not in play. OK, good stuff. Keep your tweets coming in using the hashtag BT Sports Score. Back to you, Mark. Great run. Yes, because we are taking your questions for Howard Webb today whilst he's in the studio with us using uh, at BT Sports Score on Twitter. And this one came from Clive Rockle, who says, uh, Howard, can you think of any reasons why yellow cards should not be 10 minutes sin bins in football? Questions for Howard Webb now. Keep these coming in at BT Sports Score. Uh, this is... A oh! Oh, have we got a goal, Robbie? No, it's at the bottom no? side okay. of the crossbar. We'll get to you in a minute, Robbie. Let's go to Howard first. Uh, Adam says, uh, what's the best skill or quality for a referee to have? Um, skin like... To you, Adam. Keep those uh, tweets coming in at BT Sports Score. And Robbie, you can tell us what's going on at the London Stadium you to get in touch with us at BT Sports Score on Twitter. A couple of fans out at the games today. Mike Keegan says, well, the pies smell absolutely delicious, but that's the only highlight for me from the KCOM Stadium so far. Uh, Luke Edwards, a bit of a negative Sunderland fan, says, uh, we had been the better side in a poor game, but concede a soft goal and have gone to pieces again. Not much on the bench to inspire hope either. Keep those tweets coming in. Uh, more for Howard as well. We've got a suggestion for Howard now uh, from Trainspotter. Uh, Trainspotter says, Howard, how about having the clock stopped after every... Event. OK, keep those tweets coming in at BT Sports Score on Twitter. This afternoon, I assume, especially if you're one of the 30,000 that owns Troy Deeney, you're going to love watching back today's match. He plays with so much passion and he's rewarded you with a goal today. Also, NASA Chadley owners, he's looking like really good value at just 6.4 million, rewarding his owners with a goal today as well. Um, let's get to some of your questions as well for Howard. This one's coming from John Curum, who says, um, Howard, what's your opinion on yellow cards for players taking their shirt off when celebrating a goal? I don't see the harm. And in the championship today, Anthony Knockhart got booked just a few moments ago for over-celebrating with the tweets coming into us. It's at BT Sports Score. 